this is Joseph from Gorilla 3D. Um, what I'm going to go over is basically my love for 4chan. Simply because I love 4chan uh, for what it has to offer as far as images. Um, it's a great uh, anime wallpaper finder. Um, the only problem is you have to actually find it. And along with that is a bunch of crap that people just post as far as comments. and Like, for example, I have no idea what this image is about. Um, but thankfully, they have a comment here saying One Piece, so this might have something to do with One Piece. Um, but there's a lot of other ones that don't really give much of any information of what the wallpaper is. And on top of that, you have to click on Reply, and when you click on Reply, you can get to see the rest of the images. Other than that, you just kind of stuck with the first, I think, they offer like the first eight images. Um, um, so what I did was I made a Python script to go to this website and download all the wallpapers within all the threads, within all the paper or pages that are available within the wallpaper currently. Um, to give you an example, uh, I've ran the script several times already and uh, let's see if this terminal will load. Um, so I ran this several times and I see that it says python 4 and uh, the amount of times or amount of savings between each one of them are varies because once it downloads an entire thread of and, and all those images, it'll go back and check for that thread for new images, but it won't download the, the ones that have already downloaded, so it won't take up too much of your time. Um, when you first run the script, it's going to take uh, uh, quite a while, it's probably between 5, depending on your internet connection, to 20 minutes, um, downloading all the images uh, in from the threads. Uh, so what you might want to do is just once you first run it um, do some kind of uh, if you're using Windows you can use the Windows uh, not task manager but um, scheduler and uh, schedule to run this command every like 10 minutes or something so we can download the newest wallpapers um, so if I go ahead and go to my, my directory where I save everything at Okay, and my computer is dying because I am doing a screencast and I can't handle it while I am trying to operate at the same time. Uh. Okay, so this is where I have all my images um, being thrown at right now and uh, First, you don't actually see all the images, you just see a bunch of folders, and each folder represents a thread. Um, so the newest thread is 346190, and I can go to that thread and see what kind of images that thread has to offer. And uh, it's uh, an image and then tags.txt. I'm later on going to have, um, when I install it, a user interface, have that. Um, so you can kind of like defer as what kind of uh, images you're looking at if you don't know the anime, anime series. Um, and uh, let's see here. And then there, there's a bunch of other ones. Like if I go to thread 45, 506, uh, you should see a, a lot more images here since it's an older thread. And older threads usually have more images. So as you see, yeah, there's a bunch of more images, and these aren't the thumbnails. These are actually the full image size. Uh, so you don't have to actually go there and right-click or do anything uh, as far as going back to the website and trying to download the wallpaper. Um, you know, it's a really helpful tool for me as far as just gathering uh, anime wallpapers. Something I might actu actually do is use this for my website and just do like a 4chan, 4chan cache and then um, try to find duplicate images like for example this image and uh, this image over here is basically the same except one has text and the other doesn't um, so I'm most likely going to write uh, another uh, piece to the script and basically look at all the other images and if there's like an 85% uh, similarity between those two and delete one of them. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to have the script up to download on my website. Um, if 
you're looking at the YouTube uh, video, I'll, I'll go ahead and post this on my side as far as where to get the link. Um, again, I use Python, um, and uh, I think you need at least Python uh, 2.3 because I didn't use uh, subprocesses module. Uh, yeah. Um, again, uh, if you really do like this script and you want me to keep working on it to make a user interface, so it'll be something more usable to anybody else, um, just let me know. And if there's enough interest, I'll go ahead and continue developing this.